if I can pull it off, it goes something like this. And the sneer he cast upon us was perverse He walked on down to the gambling hall And he strolled right in like he owned it all With the silver spurs announcing his arrival When the hush he expected didn't fall in time He pulled out his pearl handle shooting irons And sent those town folk diving for their survival When the dust finally settled, he commenced to speak, said I'm gonna have to be here for maybe a week, and I don't expect no trouble from the likes of you. Said I'm gonna go get me a shave and a bath, and I'll require the company of this young lass, and he turned his wicked grin on Linda Lou. Gun token stranger in our midst, and there ain't anything that we can do, except sit back quietly while he has his way with Linda Lou. Ah, Well, the sheriff was alerted to the goings on and he hitched up his britches and stifled a yawn because this sort of thing was common in the Old West. And then he laid it all out for the stranger to see. He said, we ain't gonna stand for your tyranny and you'll unhand that girl if you know what's best. But Linda Lou didn't seem concerned. She couldn't be a bar girl without she'd learned a trick or two for dealing with dangerous bums. She told the sheriff, just lay low and she'd do same and before you know the town could return to normal with no harm done gun toting stranger in our midst and there anything that we can do except sit back quietly while he has his way with linda lou well they both slid into a bubble bath and linda lou began to laugh because the stranger wasn't so heavily armed in the raw she said, how do you figure to intimidate me with that little old derringer that surely be the sorriest excuse for a weapon I ever saw? Well, the stranger let fly with some violent cussing and Linda Lou pressed his face to her bosom and proceeded to hold his head down beneath the suds. We could all tell from the splashing and thrashing the stranger was taking a fatal bashing and we began to make bids on who got his dubs. Well, the mayor held a meeting on the courthouse step and informed Linda Lou we was in her debt and would she be so kind as to address the crowd. She said, handling a gunman ain't no chore when you're packing my brand of 44. She shucked off her blouse right there and made the town proud. Gun-toting stranger in our midst and there ain't a thing we need to do except sit back quietly and leave it. Thank you very much.